in the white corner with its silver aluminum frame and the white square buttons. Official weight 0.5 pounds. Recognized the world over as the best typing experience for your Mac and potentially ever, according to Apple. Coming straight out of Apple USA, the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. In the gray corner, because I can't see black, with its unmissable three yellow buttons, gray plastic frame and iconic rounded buttons, official weight, a hefty 0.9 pounds. Known as the world champion of budget minimalistic mini modern wireless keyboards, the pride of Switzerland, the Logitech K380. Ladies and gentlemen, which keyboard should you buy for your Mac? Or any device for that matter? Spoiler, it ain't this one. Welcome everybody, welcome back, you don't know your boy Kamani Brown and today we'll be speaking about, you guessed it, keyboards. In particular, keyboards for your Mac. Now, I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with the Apple Magic Keyboard, which, ding ding ding, this one over here. This abomination, this 100 plus dollar piece of crap. In this video, I'll actually be telling you guys, is it worth it? Spoiler alert, no. Save it their money, do not spend a dime on this abomination. This is about 30 bucks, give or take. This over 100 bucks. It's smaller, it's lighter, it's cheaper feeling. I don't know how the hell this costs so much more than this. It's crazy. Now the standout feature and the main reason why I got this thing was actually this. The touch ID sensor. Guys, this was a huge letdown. Believe the comments that you see on Amazon. This thing barely works. It works very inconsistently. The only time I've actually gotten it to work is if I plug it in directly for days, which I would imagine wouldn't be too smart for the battery. Aside from that, another couple of standout features, the media controls, the volume rocker, the mute button, the spotlight search button, the app switcher button, and if you're using an Apple display of any sort, the dimming buttons over here. Now, that's about it. Aside from that, it's just a run-of-the-mill keyboard. The travel distance isn't that great. It's about a little less tactile than the keyboard on your MacBook. And I'm speaking about the recent MacBook, like the M series. The keyboards are second to none compared to this. Mwah. Now, this isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination, but for 100 plus bucks, you expect more. Now, this this thing is very comfortable it's solid no guys this thing is worth every penny and then some if you find it for 60 bucks really and truly you couldn't complain but regular msrp is around 30 bucks now the stand-up feature about this is actually these buttons right these buttons actually allow you to use up to three different devices at the same time with this can only use it with Apple devices and it can only be paired with one device at a time. Now this, your MacBook, your iPad, even your iPhone, could be an Android tablet, your Android TV, a Windows laptop that the keyboard is not working for whatever reason, a Windows computer with Bluetooth functionality, the whole PC world or Mac world is your oyster with this keyboard for 30 bucks, very convenient. With this keyboard, I may be on my Mac, editing a video, switching to my iPad, editing a thumbnail, or whatever, and I may even be using my iPhone and just be too lazy to pick it up. All I do, press a button, switch, device one, switch a button, device two, button, device three. It's that easy and it happens in a fraction of a second. I love this keyboard. The buttons feel a hell of a lot more premium than this thing. The only disadvantage or advantage, depending on how you look at it, is that it uses AA batteries. However, these AA batteries last up to two years. This is rechargeable. Yeah, you technically are saving e-waste or whatever kind of waste you want to call it. But you have to charge this thing probably once a week or once every two or, oh, I'll say about once every two or so weeks. 
So there's a convenience factor. This will be wireless for up to two years. This you have to plug it in every couple of weeks or so. But all in all, this, any Apple device recognizes it instantly. This you have to run through the whole pairing process. A couple of extra steps, a couple of extra buttons to press. But for the money people, this thing is like a fifth of the cost. This is a no brainer. Now to give you guys a closer look, what we have here is actually the switch to turn it on. The switch to turn on this one is actually here on the longer edge. And this one, here are the standout features, the buttons that you can use to switch between up to three different devices at once. I love this, very convenient. The buttons are rounded instead of squared off like the Apple Magic Keyboard, but it is a lot more tactile, a lot more travel distance and a lot more satisfying to actually press and weirdly enough, they're actually quieter than the Apple Magic Keyboard. And I love them. It also has the media control buttons as you can see up here for music and video. It even has the app switcher button right here, a home button and a mini button. And the keyboard layout is pretty much the same as any Mac or Windows computer. For example, here, you have a button designated to Alt or Command or Start and Option. So some of the buttons, depending on whether or not you're using Windows or Apple devices, actually have their designated labels, right? So it's very, it's actually a very practical keyboard. And guys, I love this thing. I love it. It's very weighty. It feels very premium. I'm shaking it right now can't hear anything rattling and i'm doing this for a reason people i promise you you'll see why this on the other hand yeah you guys can hear this right i'm actually not even shaking it that hard i'm just making up the face just for you know dramatic reasons but this thing as you can hear sounds very shaky but as you can see the difference is that it's buttons are pretty squared off it's actually a lot lighter and it feels like there's some aluminum finishing around the edges but there's a lot more plastic in it yeah a lot more hollowed out a lot more shaky buttons in on this thing and it's a huge letdown people this thing when it works it works and it works beautifully it's very convenient especially when it comes on to logging into your online accounts your password manager on your mac and in general just authentication purposes payments logging into your mac is very convenient when it flipping works which is pretty much like a quarter of the time i kid you not once this authentication sensor is not working it doesn't feel like it's worth 100 bucks it doesn't look like it's worth 100 bucks it doesn't weigh like it's worth 100 bucks it's crazy guys this thing is not worth it it's not worth it at all yeah this is where it's at the Logitech K380, oldie but goodie, a classic, it's been out for a couple of years. Guys, check the link in the description below. This is all you need, whether it's a Mac, PC, a tablet, an Android device, it doesn't matter. This will get the job done. A fraction of the price, it's worth every penny, it punches above its weight. I can't recommend this keyboard enough. Guys, do not waste your money on that abomination that I hope it still works because it, it cost me over a hundred bucks. I did that on impulse, but <laughs> don't buy it. Do not buy it. Stay clear of that, right? Until Apple either releases another one that's better budget friendly or more worth the time, energy and money, avoid that. This is where it's at. There may be newer models. As a matter of fact, I'll link a plethora of them in the description below because I know that there are other designs. Logitech tends to do that, but this, I need nothing more than this. I wholeheartedly recommend this keyboard. Try it out. If you don't like it, you can return it. It's on Amazon. That's it, peeps. And you don't know as usual, thanks for tuning in. You don't know, I'll appreciate a like, subscribe, and of course, hitting that little notification bell so you know when the next video is out. See you guys in the next one. Peace out and take care.